Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about an awesome way to speed up drawing perspective grids. And I want to apologize about the way I sound. I have a bit of a cold right now, and hopefully by the next video I'll be cured. So in the meantime, this is a stuffy nose edition. But here we've got a pretty standard object to be painted over inside of Photoshop. This is a quick screenshot I got from SketchUp, and if I wanted to add on to this drawing, you know I'd need to have a perspective grid. And if you don't, this is something I talk a lot about in the perspective series. So obviously there are ways to manually draw these grids, but it can be time consuming. Well, luckily, Epic Games, the people that made Gears of War, have made a drawing tool to help make this a little bit easier. So here is Carapace. This is free software, and it is all about making grids. So by using the number keys here, I can just add in perspective points. And you see here between points 1 and 2, I have an automatic horizon line. I can zoom away out to put a third point in there if I want. And there I have a perspective grid. And that took, what, 20 seconds? So if you've drawn these manually, you know that this is a huge time saver. Seriously big deal. So that alone is very cool, to be able to just make perspective grids. But instead, if you want to actually match the existing perspective of your image, you are not going to want to start from scratch. So here I can just copy my image, go back into Carapace, and paste. And now I'm going to draw what it calls trace lines. And this is when I pull some parallel lines along the forms that I have in my image. And then it will extrapolate between them and generate the perspective lines. So it has created a third vanishing point. So to finish out the rest of them, I just have to do trace lines on the other sets of parallel lines. And if this is something you don't know about, you should definitely watch the perspective series that I have available in the store. Because even if you don't want to do this manually, it's still good to know how to. And then I'll do one last thing here. And there you see I have a perspective grid. So I can copy this paste it in place, set it to multiply, and I have a perspective grid. This is so valuable. So got to hand it to Epic Games for making this. This is awesome. And there's a link for the download in the bottom of the post. So have fun with this tool, guys. It's called Carapace, and enjoy making those perspective grids. They are a lot quicker with this. Thanks for coming to Control Paint.